Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. We got a good one for you today. Uh, we're going to get into, an, and I hope I'm saying these names right, because it's a prospect that I really like. I just w- sat down and watched a lot of his fights on a recommendation. Masood Abdullah and Kais As- Asfak. That one I got right. Asfak, I got right. Uh, so you got a prospect, a title prospect against the guy who was a title prospect, lost, uh, was signed with Matchroom, n- now isn't signed with Matchroom, uh, we're going to get into it. I think this is an intriguing fight. I think it's a good test for uh, Abdullah. But before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to handicap the sport. I do, and I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Uh, and also subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, for just $5 a month, you get a ton of perks. You can ask the bookie anything. I will handicap any fight you want. You get a free T-shirt, free scouting report, and you get the lock of the week, plus a ton of other perks for just $5 a month. You'll absolutely be the envy of your friends. So follow, uh, subscribe to me on Patreon as well. Again, we don't gamble, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. I use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. I don't bet anymore. But if you guys do, I'm going to show you how to make that second stream of income. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Let's get into today's show. Masad Abdullah is a prospect that I like quite a bit. 9-0, six knockouts, good range. You know, not super tall, but good, good range. He's got a good subtle head movement. On, the, on getting into the inside. He's got a wide base, which I don't love. Shorten that up a little bit, but he closes the gap well. He closes the distance well. He cuts off the ring. He's well on the front foot. He's a stalking, stalking pressure fighter. He's accurate, and he's got accurate, well-timed power shots. This guy's he's a guy's just going to maul you. He's a come-forward guy. He's going to maul you. But he's skilled on getting on the inside. He can cut the ring off, and he and he can slide on on the inside. He's not just eating shots to get on the inside. He digs the body well too. He's he's what you would want in a pressure fighter, uh, uh, you know, a pressure fighter. Good volume, works the body, accurate on the inside. He's good stuff. He's straight in, straight out though. I've noticed too. He's not, he, he needs to develop more angles. He needs to work on his angles because he's too much straight in, straight out. Really good fighters are going to tag him coming in and coming out. He's got a quick, sneaky jab, too. You don't notice him as being a good jammer, but his jab is pretty good. I've noticed that. He loves to go first. That's his his bread and butter is is being first. But he'll exchange with you. And he's not just high guard block and wait for you to finish. He'll punch in between your punches. He's pinpoint accurate on the inside. Like, there's a lot to like about this guy. I'm not sure about his power just yet. I'm not convinced either way. Like, I'm still agnostic on his power. Convince me either way. I think this may be not a great test because I I, I think Aspect's chin is questionable. So we may get a spectacular knockout here uh, and still not really have any answers on his power. But... There's a lot to like about Aspak. Accurate on the inside, well placed to shots, high volume guy. Lots of good stuff to see with him. There's a, there's a lot of good things. He's exactly what you'd want in a high high pressure volume fighter, a high volume pressure fighter. I said that backwards. As for uh, uh this first name, Kaius Aspak. Watched a bunch of fights on him. I have more questions than answers on this guy. Back foot boxer, quick reflexes. How good is his speed, though? Uh, It doesn't look to be great. It doesn't look to be blazing. I'm not saying he's slow and flat-footed. He's not. He's easy to hit. Either he's got the low guard and you can hit him, or he's got the high guard and you can easily split his guard. Pretty good athlete. Like I said, nothing spectacular, nothing. I'm trying to find out why Matchroom signed this guy so early in his career. He's also seemed to regress a bit, too. Uh, He seems to have gotten worse over time. 
There's no pop. He doesn't sit down on his punches. Now, he's got skills. He's, he, offensively, for a back foot fighter, he definitely has some skills. I'm not saying he's, he's no good at all. Uh, his combos are predictable, which make him easy to counter. I'm just saying this guy, for a boxer, is very easy to hit. Right? He's not a difficult target. He, he, he carries his hand low, which a lot of boxers do, which I don't love. But, okay, it allows you certain other advantages. I got, I got that. But then when he, has, when he has his guard, it's easy to split. And he, his, his punches are, are predictable, so he's extremely easy to counter. And he's got a questionable, a highly questionable chin. He just really hasn't panned out. And it's not, that's not me saying that. Like, Matchroom dropped him, and he lost to Mark Leach. Mark Leach dropped him a bunch of times. And I thought Mark Leach won that fight. Clearly, Mark Leach is a guy that was uh, demolished uh, by Abdullah in his last fight. Abdullah does not uh, – Askak is a southpaw. Abdullah doesn't struggle with southpaws. We, we saw that he, his best performance was the win, you know, given the level of opposition at least, was the win over Leach. He's getting better. He's improving. Abdullah is the prospect that you want, right? And that's not what Askak was. Askak was a type of prospect who did not pan out, who didn't improve, who didn't add things to his game. I'm a really big fan of Masad Abdullah. Let's get into it. You guys can already see who I'm picking. There's not a ton to deal with on this, on this, but we're going to get into it real quickly. Hang on one second. Oh, and they and they and they and they did me dirty. Hang on one second. Now I got to find a fight. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that for that delay. Had to take care of that. Got it pulled up now. Mason Abdullah is a mu- Mason. I- I'm going to keep doing that. Masood Abdullah is a minus 650. I love this bet. It's a two times bet. It's only making us $30.76. But that's okay because we got a lot of locks this week. And this is a good lock. And I'm going to, for those who are subscribed, I'm going to show you my parlay of the week, which you can't miss this week. I love the parlay this week. Uh, we're going to make some money on the parlay. That's uh, if you subscribe to the Patreon, you'll get that lock of the week. And you'll see the parlay that I'm showing. That's easy money, and it pays extremely well. Okay, so that's all we got on this is uh, Abdullah on the money line times two makes you thirty dollars seventy six cents. I wish they had this by stoppage or by points or an over under on this too, so we could really make money on this bet. But that's the bet, guys. Uh, this is a straight easy money lock. There's really no path to victory for Asfak. Abdullah is a bigger hitter. He's equally as athletic. He's just a much better fighter and a much better prospect. And he gets better every time out there. His, the more performances he has, the better and better he looks. That has not been the case for Ash Back. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow The Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. Like I said, subscribe to the Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is February 6, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.